Live radar has gone quiet across the valley tonight. There's nothing out there, nor do we expect anything tonight or tomorrow. We do still have two flood warnings in effect because of existing flooding and the potential for the flooding we've been talking about in the newscast in those same areas. But look where rain fell last night. You know, we thought we might get through it without anything, but Mother Nature had one last punch at us, and that was this one right here that came up through the western part of the valley and the pre-dawn hours for the most part. And McAllen kind of got sideswiped, but Mission got hit pretty good. Palm View and then all the way out to La Jolla. Anywhere from one and a half to two and a half inches in that area up to Citrus City back to La Victoria. So it's a pretty heavy rain, but that was the end of it. That moved out. We're pretty much done now for this system. This system is gone, and while we expect the potential for some lighter rain, even a couple of thunder showers late in the weekend, early next week, nothing like what we just went through. You can see everything kind of pulling out tonight, and there's nothing else anywhere close. Future Jack says that overnight tonight we just have patchy clouds, and then tomorrow it's just mostly sunny, and with that, it gets hot. It's humid. Dew points in the upper 70s right now, and they'll be there again tomorrow. So very sticky across the area with temperatures back up to normal. An awful lot of moisture in the ground that's evaporating up into the air. And you can feel it. Sunday, mostly sunny again, but Sunday night into Monday. Notice the models trying to bring a few showers in. Scattered showers, even an isolated thunderstorm or two. We're going up to 30% for Monday, but again, we're not looking at anything at all like what we just went through. But of course, if you still got water standing in some places, a quick inch or two of rain could cause problems. But tomorrow's dry, late Sunday night into Monday, we've got 20, then 30% chance for a shower or thunderstorm. But we're talking spotty stuff, not widespread, super heavy rain like what we just went through. These are your current temperatures right now. Everybody except Port Isabel in the 90s, 91 Brownsville, Harlingen, and Raymondville, Rio Grande City, 94 in Edinburgh and McAllen. The dew points are in the mid to upper 70s in most areas, a little lower out at the Edinburgh Airport, 75 at the Cameron County Airport in Port Isabel. Put that on the muggy meter, the average is up here about 77. So that's almost off the top of the chart. It is really, really muggy outside if you step out. Lows tonight, upper 70s, low 80s at the coast, and then tomorrow back in the 90s again, 94 in Westlaco, 95 in McAllen. And if you take a look at the next three days, the average is 95. We'll be right in that neighborhood tomorrow. And then we stair step down after that 94 and 91. So let's look at it for tonight. No flood watch, but we do have those two flood warnings in effect. The areas are already flooded. Those warnings remain in effect. 78 for a low, warm and muggy. Then tomorrow, we're back up to 95. Partly cloudy skies. It's breezy. It's warm. South-southeasterly winds at 15 to 25. So again, 95, 94, 91. Sunday night into Monday, probably our best chance for a shower. But even after that, the sea breeze could come to life middle part of next week, which means an afternoon shower or thunder shower in just a few spots. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.